uh, so along with being a writer i'm a very firm believer of meditation and you know i love this word that i got from my guru saying dincharya so there was a study done where they kept two groups group a and group b and group a was supposed to do the pranayam every day but in an imperfect way and group b was supposed to do pranayam every like intermittently but very perfect in their technology and the way the technique and stuff now what they realized is that after 6 months that group which was doing it daily but imperfectly was actually doing much better than that group which was doing it perfectly but intermittently so that's where this whole concept of dincharya came about which is what you do every day has a much far reaching effect on your body mind and soul than that which you do intermittently you know so this is and it's scientifically proven so i love that i i am too happy to hear this <laughs> because this this i have been telling everyone mean consistency is the name of the game you know do it like 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 for example i like singing okay so sometimes i don't have i would like to sing one hour in a day practice you know i don't have but i'll do somewhere even 5 minutes i will do it and every day i do it whether it is meditation sometimes i meditation i never missed but whether it is exercise sometimes i miss like this you no know, something i will do i will do my exercise for 5 10 minutes because i'm getting the brain to understand that listen i am a committed soul and i want this and no matter what and that's what i'm telling people that liya time yeah i said you don't have one hour i spend my mind my, my liya time is 5 in the morning to 10 in the morning 5 hours for myself and then the whole day is for everyone i said you don't have 5 hours no problem you have one hour you don't have one hour no problem half an hour you don't have half an hour Five minutes. You don't have five minutes. One minute you can't give. So what a foolish life we are living. If you can't, damn it, give one minute a day to account for yourself. And I'm saying account means in such a way that you don't even have one minute. Take five seconds. Copy yesterday's message. Put today's message and put the number. Change the number. Okay, yesterday was forty-three. Put it forty-four and just send the number. I say you can't spend that much time. Then what life we are living. what does the brain is getting this guy is not committed so it's about you know din charya i have heard about it but i understood the meaning today is is daily do everything and you will see the brain basically we are magical human beings so when we are magical human beings the brain or the god within us does the rest it just needs proof that we are committed and once we are committed the rest bhagwan karta hai you know true and of course the grace of the guru that is the highest okay there is no i mean if you have that then this all also doesn't work that works on a different realm different plane so if you can surrender to one master in your life yeah. it's the best thing you can speak about mahatriya ji and your surrender towards him i mean it will at least get people that i said there are 7 and 1/2 billion people in the world damn it can't you surrender to one person drop your damn ego drop your damn logical brain drop your left brain to one person i am with you and if you can do you know we said surrender to the universe surrender to sun god wind god no no i am saying a master who is there to kick your ego so if you can get that even today i think you have got the best gift through so a little word on mahatriya ji you can speak or your love for him sure but just one little thing yeah, to yeah. what you said like you know especially related to the pranayam thing it's like i realized that even a stone can be cut through by a gentle stream but only if it goes on passing through it you know so every habit can be changed the whole we saw with mom i mean every scan shows that she has got this huge thing and today 9 8 years later how do you explain that she is absolutely functionally fit it's only because every day she has done what she has done i wish i if i ever come back i want to share her health ideas and you know things like that because such simple things things from the kitchen but what a difference it makes to your overall health so yeah i think that and my love for my guru i mean Kasi yeah. I must say Manoj ji that I love the fact that you're so open and uh. and that's how I am and that's the culture Mahathir also wants to build that 
he says it's not about which guru you follow it's about follow one guru to your last breath yeah. you know so it's like if i want to go from bombay to hyderabad i could take the plane i could go by you know train i could go by car so i think the tool or the instrument you've chosen or i've chosen may not be the fact is that we want to reach there right so i love the fact that you're asking me so much about mahatrya and it says a lot about you it yeah. says a lot about how it says a lot about your guru actually yeah 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 so, <laughs> he would invite any every one to inspire every one that way and that's what i love about mahatrya also that he's so non fanatic because the world does not need one more religion it's just going to get messed up it needs a lot of us to come up and say yeah i'm going to practice so there's this beautiful thing he says which i love so much he's like take a paper divide it into two so suppose you write all the names of religions in one side on the su- other side you write all the virtues they teach love peace forgiveness surrender faith which religion will you match to which virtue <laughs> all the religions are saying the same thing so i think that's what touched me so much and that's what i realized that we all here to just become better as ourselves